We're doing good. We're saving the world one zombie at a... I broke my femur. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Intent. Uh, I'm back. We were waiting and waiting and waiting for my voice to recover. I finally decided that it's not. This is Death Road to Canada. I don't know much about it. I'm going to guess that it's a zombie game. So, let's get rolling. Up, down, left, right to move. Button O or open to use. What is button O? I'll say this. This is some funky music, man. Why is his head so big? You can't leave from this location. This door just leads to the garbage room, which is nearly full. Whoever designated this zombie design this zombie bunker didn't put a ton of thought to how long it would last. You'll have to find another way out, or if you like, you could skip the tutorial. Now we're gonna go back to the tutorial. Huh. Uh, it's Z to use. Piece of wood. Uh, I, I want the wrench. Wrench time! What is that, a chain? Oh, it's a rebar. Brandy sees Hsu, who is a real dink. <coughs> Zombies have broken into my home. This is probably your fault. It certainly isn't mine. When the group found the zombie bunker, Sue called dibs on this big bedroom before anybody else. I'm going to tell her to cool it. Sue is infuriated by this. She gets super steaming mad. I'm not sure if telling someone to cool it has ever worked. I can attest that has never worked. Someone's mad and you tell them, hey, cool out, man. They tend to get more mad in the history of the whole world. Brandy's attitude revealed. Brandy's morale decreases. Sia's morale decreases. Everybody's all mad. Choose your pals wisely. What is a zombie doing here? Oh, gross. <laughs> okay. Got some shotgun shells. Brandy greets Frederick. I think we'll have to leave this safe house. At least we got to rest for a while. We should try heading to Canada. Would you like me to travel with you? More people means more hands to loot and fight with. It also means more people to get in the way, eat up the food, and argue. Well, the tutorial said I should choose my friends wisely. Nah. I'm going to take the tutorial's advice. Later, Frederick. Zombie, zombie, zombie. Oh, God, those animations are crazy. I'm glad the computer-controlled player knows what they're doing. I, I think I would have gotten killed twice by zombies now. Found a cheeseburger in the bookcase. This is the most cheerful zombie game ever. Blah! Blah! Finish him! Running off and beats fighting. Yeah, I'm gonna say we're probably not gonna mess with them. They don't look super friendly. Ladder leads to outside. Um. Yeah, let's go. Whatever, man. We got this. You found the ladder. This will end the story for Brandy. But your story is about to begin. You will make your way to Canada, looting all the supplies you can on the way. You need to build up your skills and your team to survive. In tutorial! New game. Empty slot. Uh, I can be Ellis. He looks cool. We can be Ellis. 
Ellis seems like an okay dude. Oh no, wait, I hit the wrong button. Buddy is Dell. He's kind of got that tinfoil Kevin kind of look going there. Um, okay. Ellis hears rumors that Canada is a safe place, free of the threat of zombies. With nothing to gain from waiting around Florida, she decides... That's Ellis? Ellis is a girl? To start the journey, the group decides to grab some supplies from a nearby location. In order to survive the death road, you'll need to hoard as many supplies as you can. You will also need to find ways to train and grow your team. Y'all Mart? Ooh, that's gonna... Let's go there. An abandoned Y'all Mart off in the distance. It looks like it's been looted, but maybe there's some untouched loot inside. Your zombie forecast is mild. Aggression. Sluggish. Current time. Late morning. Go bargain hunting! Oh, goodness. Oh. Oh, we might be in trouble. Oh, good lord. Dude, the cane is a beast. Beat him! Beat him down! You have to hit the zombies until they explode, I guess. Man, the music in this game is so funky. I don't know what I expected. I went to friggin' Walmart. I'm sorry, Y'all Mart. Ooh, I wonder if I can do things with the shopping cart. Huh. <laughs> Yeah! So I note that Dell is not as super crazy awesome as my girl was in the tutorial. Alright, y'all, Mark. Let's see what we can find. Uh, this might have been... I guess we decided go big or go home. <laughs> what is wrong with this guy? We're doing good! We're saving the world one zombie at a- I broke my femur. Broke my femur. Normally that would be something that would upset me a little more. I broke my femur and I'm not sure what I did with my cane. So I guess for now, we're attacking with a shopping cart. Bullets. So the Yalmart must be in the south. You got that right, Dell? I need this can of pop. Pop! There we go. Sorry. My voice really is mostly shot, if you can't tell. Like, I'm, I'm not in a good place. Alright, we're gonna hit you with a skelly tone! Skelly belly bone! Punch him! Ooh, a wrench. Oh, gas. Oh, no. Okay, the game is making me keep track of gas in my car. It's an important consideration. The good news is, as long as we don't run into some, like, Mad Max evil road types, the gas should be pretty cheap. As expected, very little loot in the bathroom. All in all, a profitable trip. A zombie slaughter fest. Oh, sorry. I don't want you to feel left out. Roll on. Roll on. Honk. That's right! Total food up to 13. Total gas up to 133. Total medical up to 7. And we have rifle ammo and we killed 45 zombies! This is kind of like... Like a semi-FTL, like faster than light type of thing. The group is poking through an abandoned house and finds a Ouija board. <laughs> it's a Ouija board. These things are rumored to be incredibly cursed with bad luck. So beware. Still, it may be worth asking it a question. 
Leave this nonsense alone. Where's the loot? The group feels incredibly unlucky. Beware the curse of Ouija! Luck massively decreased. Somewhere in the distance, a goblin laughs. Why couldn't it have been a werewolf apocalypse? At least then there'd be werewolves. I dig you, Dell. Group spots an infested city from the road. Scouting it from afar, the group has to decide whether to fight under the noon sun for supplies. Swarm size mild, aggression calm. Oh, there's an arcade, man. Go to the arcade, bruh. You talk about improving morale. Uh, let's boogie. I like that zombie. Exit. Okay, so since there are exits provided that aren't your car, I get the impression that you may end up in situations where you have to abandon your car. Where are we that there was an AK arcade? These things are relics of my past. Thank you, Dell. We got a tag team at Bip Bip! Looty Looty Loot! Snack it time! Fine. You wanna play? We'll play. Oh, it's persistent environments. The zombies can follow me in from outside. That's a, an important thing to know. Hey, medical one. <laughs> I closed the door in the zombie's face. <laughs> he walked over, he's like, hey guys. And I was like, back off! There. In the toilet. We found a bullet in the toilet. We are now in Fallout. <laughs> are we going to have the War Garble incident with the toilet? Uh, no. Dell! Dell, you lunatic! We don't have to fight every zombie we see. There you go, Dell. Finish him off for me. Okay, there's nothing in here. Oh no, there's another room. More garbage. Where is that guy's face? I had to give props to the developer of this game. They went like fully ham on the zombie design here. One more and let's go in the arcade see if we can find anything in here. No! Don't break those! One day humanity will need them again. Dell! I got a problem, B! Why did we go to the arcade? Is there another building over here? No? Okay, well... This trip got us some supplies, but it cost me my weapon. I love Beard Guy Zombie. He's my favorite. Okay, we're going to get bold here. I'm going to trust Dell and his crowbar. I want to know what the purpose of going to the arcade is. Looks like there's a game over there I can play. We're gonna find out. I think it's actually Space Invaders. Ooh, vending machines. I mean, I guess I could have just pushed the button. I found gasoline in the toilet. <laughs> sure, why not? All right. See if we can't improve our morale with a game of Space Invaders. Not very clear how it runs without electricity. Ellis plays the arcade game. Polybius. And really gets into it. Playing it increases your skill with guns. The critics were right. Ellis's shooting revealed. Ellis's shooting increases. Ellis's morale increases. Oh, that's right! I picked up a wrench! I've been face punching. Isn't there a way to swap leaders? Or do I have to do that in the car? Um, it is now nighttime. We need to get in the car. Yeah, that was about to get hairy. Plus six food, plus two gas, plus two medical. Got some pistol ammo, got some rifle ammo. I think we did all right. Outside of Canada, most of society and civilization has been destroyed. 
you could still find people engaging with trade, being with preserved food being the new currency. We don't have a lot of we're gonna ignore the traders. We don't have a lot of food. We need to we need to raid for supplies. A house by the road. It's locked. Hey, leave my door alone, you dinks! Door opens and Lil comes out. Lil joins the team. Okay, her attitude is Rawr! Lil's mechanical revealed. Alright, we got Lil. The group is about to explore a small house when they notice that a horde is creeping nearby. They will have to hold their ground before they can escape. Siege alert! There's no escape! Horde size, moderate. Current time, late morning. Siege length, one hour. Nothing we can do but fight. Oh, the wrench is bad for a siege. I want my cane back. I'm so tired. Okay. Lil is Michonne. She shows up with braids and a samurai sword. Lil is Michonne. Is it, is it over? Oh my god, is it over? <sighs> you can now try to escape. I like that. The game doesn't guarantee. It's like, okay, you survived the siege. But you still have to get out. Did her sword break? Maybe it's not Michonne. Apparently her samurai sword is one of those uh, flea market ones. <laughs> so tired from swinging that wrench around. Fatigue directly affects your fighting ability. That's pretty cool. There's a surprising amount of depth to this. More and more, this game is reminding me of Faster Than Light. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess. Two food. Congratulations. We are about to have a severe problem. Ellis is fully healed. Lil's medical increases. Lil treats all of their wounds. Choose a reward for the, root, for the group. Morale and random skill game. There we go. Every day is a great teacher, as long as you don't get eaten. Ellis's morale increases. Look, we're all getting happier. Lil's not super grumpy anymore. Zombo point earned. Oh, we can unlock stuff on the title screen for the game. Just drive on the side of the road if you have to. The group couldn't find any safe shelters, but was able to cobble together a campsite. The weather is terrible all night. Dell thought the weather was nice. Like, Lil's momentary morale increase just got murdered by being rained on all night. And we are almost out of food. We got a problem. A stop for supplies. City row with car, secure junkyard. We got it. We got to stop for supplies. The car is parked on the streets and looks almost pristine. It's just waiting to be taken. Oh, they're hunting. Oh, we need supplies bad. Lil doesn't even have a weapon. Oh. Lots of supplies. We're gonna die! Ellis is gonna die! Ah! We have made a mistake! The need for supplies has driven us into a bad situation. I don't think we're gonna all make it out of this one. But either way, we're gonna have to fight our way out. I gotta let my fatigue recover a bit. Well, now we're actually cornered. This game is really fun. It manages to... Uh-oh. The mission leader has died. Pick a new leader. Dell. Okay, well, let's leave while they're eating him. Ellis got capped. Got a cheeseburger. 
Some shotgun shells. I can't believe Ellis died. Lil, if you want, I mean, at any time, feel free to punch. All right. Hey, uh, okay, I was going to say, Lil, no! Well, the supplies should go further now. It's so weird. The music stays so cheerful. We're in trouble! Come on, Lil. Zombies! You cannot outfight this horde. The bigger weapons that do more damage also wear you out. There's a lot of decisions to make in this game. We're fatigued. Let's just rest for a second. Or let's fight these zombies. I forgot about persistent environments. Are there any more supplies in here? Nothing knife. That's important. The knife has nice damage. I think that... Did that have the loot glow? Oh, goodness. Oh, God! Oh! We've already lost one member of our party. Ellis! No! The knife does decent damage and fatigues much less. Here, you cannot keep a weapon. Okay, let's see. I think I have a crowbar. Can I access the inventory? There you go. Okay. We have done a lot of work here. place is a gold mine for supplies just I mean I guess now Ellis is dead the supplies we have will last a bit longer uh... <laughs> cannot catch a break and still Lil is an unknown quantity we don't know what her loyalty is she may choose to betray the team I gather that that's a thing. Anytime you want to jump in there, Lil. Man, this house is enormous. Anything else? No. All right. This cheerful music is really like asynchronous with the tone of this game. It's like action-oriented. Project Zomboid. My knife broke. Excellent. Uh. Wow. Okay. Wow. Who knew? Tables make decent weapons. Where did... Did you kill him? Dead gum, Lil. Alright. Come on, table. We are armed with the environment. Yeah, it's too heavy to carry around, I guess. Car keys! Femur! Let me pick up the femur! Ah! 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 There's gasoline there! We can't leave! Alright. Excellent. Let us continue our quest to survive. It's 8.45 p.m. Alright, let's take this nicer car. Holy crap! Plus 33 gas, plus 9 food, plus 2. All told, not a bad run. Except for the death of our friend. 
Lil whines incessantly about being dirty. <laughs> as long as one person remains alive, the dream of Canada lives on. Let's visit a trader camp. Let's see what we can do here. This man is selling anime and anime accessories. <laughs> oh, but the katanas break so easily. <sighs> they die so easily. This suspicious person is wearing a mask and holding a fancy sniper rifle. Oh, we got pistol ammo. We bought a silenced pistol. Twitchy man selling homemade bombs. Wearing a bulky coat with lumps. Back away slowly. I got some katanas. Let's leave. We should run these zombies down with the car. Group checks what appears to be a trader settlement. They are instead ambushed by bandits who have taken it over. Lil offers to heal them. The bandits let us go. Hey, there you go! See? Being nice and helping people. That's what I'm talking about. Luck is on my side. Group finds a perfect throwing rock on the ground. It is next to a low fence guarding a big fall. At the bottom of this is a single zombie standing there staring at nothing in particular. Del, throw the rock. Keeps accidentally throwing the rocks in ways that make it return to her. First it was straight up, then the next few times it hit the fence. This goes on for several hours. Is nearly dead from exhaustion by then? Well, oh, well hey, we got a lot. That's good. We got some, some skill increases. We didn't have enough food to eat. We're in trouble. Need to stop for supplies. Give me some supplies. Yeah, we're going to run out of gas before we get to Canada. Try to ignore it. Dell ignores her just fine. See, Lil feels better because she ranted for hours. The group is traveling close to nightfall. The zombies grow more aggressive. Sporting goods store. Let's go. Pistol, very nice. We are going to eat up ammo quickly. Oh my goodness. Why would I do this again? Alright, the desperation for supplies. Such a bad idea! This pistol sucks. Can't believe we traded so much food for it. I mean, it's useful. It let's us keep the horde off of us. Okay, out of ammo. An otaku katana. I have a feeling that this katana is going to break on me at any second. Hey, that was effective. That was actually a good deal, I think. And it's light. And it's gone. With an aluminum baseball bat. What am I... What do I do with an air horn? I have a feeling that that's useful in some way. <laughs> this cheerful music is, dry, is, is, is it's, it's, it's freaking me out, man. I'm gonna be perfectly honest. Food, 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 please, food. As if on cue, I complained about the music. And it went super menacing. I think because it's nighttime now. The zombies are no longer in a good mood. I keep mistaking the film grain 
for the, the loot flash. Okay, we found the kitchen. Oh, thank you. Food. So that we may survive for another night. Not good! The zombies are super aggressive. Oh, Ellis. If only you could have seen all the cheeseburgers. Where on earth are we going? Too tired to swing the bat. Lil! Oh. Okay. Gotta give it a second here. Do these people have like a torture dungeon? What is this? This game suddenly got very tense. Midnight supply raid, not good during zombie apocalypse. Oh! I don't know what we just found. That looks weird. Come on, Lil. Do your part. There is still a zombie horde coming from behind. Oh, there are a lot of those. Oh, goodness gracious. Use the bottleneck. Tired, getting tired, getting tired. And I'm willing to bet there's an effect on morale. We're just slowly getting backed away from our objective. And we're not entirely sure what the objective is. Finish him while he's down. Come on, Lil. We can do this if you're just willing to fight. More. Ever more. Lil, I'm doing all the work here. Okay, we've made it in the room. What are we looking at? Bad science thing. Dell enters the machine. Dell gets blasted by mysterious science rays until the machine ceases to work. She feels energized. Dell's strength increases. Dell's fitness increases. Dell feels faster. Err. Mad science machine. So I was right, they have like a murder dungeon with a mad science doomsday device in it. What a weird game. Oh my god, I've been recording for an hour. I think we might be about to call this. There's a way to save. Oh, nice. Not getting exhausted nearly as fast. Okay, on that menacing note, I think we're going to call it for today. Uh, this is actually probably going to wind up being one of those like multi-part videos. Anyway, uh, that's Death Road to Canada. Game is something. Thank you all for tuning in, y'all. Keep it real. Right, right after I ended the recording. Uh, <laughs> it let me know that you couldn't save if you quit from a mission. So I tried to get out, and we got swarmed in the corner, and everybody died. <laughs>